in the last video I created these you know, sort of post like structures that are going to hold the electric fence all right um, this blew a lot of polys all right my poly count jumped way up but since then I went back and I actually I wanted to reduce the size of these holes here all right they were just too large so that the the, uh, the electric fence part the wires whatever would have to be huge uh, I didn't want them that big so I reduced the size of them and uh, I decided on having six of them uh, on each side and the original two I may have changed their size ever so slightly but that was the main thing changing the size of the hole and having six so now I have a little bit more room and um, I've still really jumped up in poly count and uh, so my you know my scene is getting a little bit sluggish recall that I've got those fence like structures though on a separate layer so if I wanted to do some work on this layer alone uh, it's very low not exactly low poly but it's much lower poly and if I want to do any work just on that I could do that but I'm going to work on it together for now and we're going to make those wires now I'm going to show you the way that I came up with with it and um, you know you can decide to do something similar or or use uh, curves right from the beginning if you prefer or whatever works for you it's a little bit labor intensive as well uh, but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. So um, I'm going to bring in a plane, and I'm going to bring it up. And I believe that because I've got an array on, I think I've got this one selected, this fence post here. So it's coming in at that point, which is is fine for me. You can bring it in wherever you want. But I'm going to go into edit mode, and I've got my vertices selected. I'm going to go Alt M, merge and center. It doesn't really matter where it comes in because we're going to have to do some moving anyhow so I've got a single point here now here's what I want to do I'm gonna pull this point directly into the first hole and I'm gonna to have to look in various vantage points various positions so it's gonna be sort of like right in the middle of, of this yeah I'll, I'll go in the middle so you might think that that because it's a wire sort of sitting in that loop that it should rest on the bottom you know we could be here for a week trying to do everything exactly according to physics but I'm just gonna start with it right there I believe it's right in the middle I'm gonna go back to my top view all right and I'm going to start this I'm gonna go eat extrude and I'm gonna pull and it's going through the next one and it's gonna keep going through all of them until I get to this last one now this is where it's gonna get a little bit weird um, in order to make it bend and look realistic, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it right under there. All right, it's right up, covered underneath. I'm going to go E, G, and I'm going to just pull the next one to about the middle there. And we're going to have to do some adjustments. Let's just have a look. Okay, it's in there. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. And I'm going to go E, G, and I'm going to come, or G and the X, whatever. All right, GX, and we're gonna come out to this one. I've only got two on this side, and so I'm gonna put it right underneath, and I'm gonna go EG, and I'm gonna, I'm having some trouble there, I'm gonna pull it over to in there. And if you want, you can look around and see, make sure it's roughly in there. Like I say, we're gonna be adjusting this in a minute. E, and then I use that, pull it through so it's going right through the middle of those other holes come to this one okay E G pull it to there okay I'll double check that it's there there it is okay cool E G X <laughs> pull it through to this one and then we're getting close to being fully around the circle again right so I'm gonna go EG and I'm gonna pull towards here but I can't see so I'm gonna go into wireframe I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna position it close to the other one and 
and I'm gonna box select them. I'm gonna go F to make a face, and I'm gonna go X and dissolve vertices. So I just have that one. I can move it close to the center if I want. Doesn't really matter. All right, back in a solid view. So this is what we have here: this thin, thin line. <clears throat> okay, now A to select everything and go control B as if you're going to bevel and you might see a dotted line there where my cross is just click to accept press F6 to bring up the bevel dialog box click vertex only and set the number of segments or vertices to a, a reasonable number and then play around with this okay and try not to get them too far from the hole once you're done that you're done Okay, now, come on out. Okay, now you see that it doesn't look perfect yet. That's okay, it goes, go Alt-C, curve from mesh, go over your curve icon, switch to full, and bring the depth up to whatever is comfortable for you. I'm gonna use, I think, four, resolution of two, and hit smoothing. Okay, now, let me see. I zoom out, if four is what I wanna be using. I might go to three. All right, now we need to do some manipulations. So select the curve. I'm going to go into top view. I'm going to go into edit mode and deselect. And you can see I've got some points here. I'm going to box select them and I'm going to start manipulating. And imagine that this is a wire or whatever uh, coming through and bending. It's not going to be perfect and I'm not going to spend the time to make it absolutely perfect. You can if you want to. You can pull it down and pull it over until it just touches the side. Great. All right, that kind of thing. Now, <clears throat> so for this one, I'm just going to pull it like this. Well, look, I can pull it this way a bit. All right, let's see. Make sure I'm not, yeah, okay. So I tugged it a little bit much. That's not bad. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll do it when we'll, we'll come go back out and we'll see what it looks like. Still going through that one. Okay, so it's this, this stuff here at the end that we got to work on as well. And I'm not necessarily doing them um, in, in any mirror-like way. I'm just doing them. Let me try this. I'm just doing them individually. Okay. Got that going. Maybe that one's not too bad. All right, and then just follow it along. Okay, straight ahead is, you know, all right. Now look, again, it's not resting, I'll show you, it's not resting necessarily on the exact bottom of the of the loop, but I mean from way back out here, I don't know if it's, if it's that important. I mean it is important, but you know, how much time you want to spend uh, is up to you, okay? All right, box select this, hit the period key to zoom in. We got work to do here. Let's pull them all out. Pull them down a little bit. No, no, I'm cutting in now. It's probably going to be okay. I'm not sure though, but let's have a look over here. You could always hide some other stuff. You can pull it down if you want. Let's pull it over, especially for these ones where it's uh, where it's supposed to be snug. All right, let's let's go with that. It's only a little bit more. There's only this side now. And then we're going to copy this down to the next level. Do the same thing, copy. That's why I did it just four times instead of five. All right, try that. Maybe that's all we need. I'm not sure. Maybe down. All right. Maybe this is okay. Let's just have a look and see what our, what our work looks like. Mm -hmm. Not sure I'm crazy about that, but I'm not sure it's visible. Okay, does it look like a cable going through and, and, and you know, maybe this, maybe this curve here. 
maybe it needs to be pulled in and back just a small amount. Let's see. I just want to make sure it doesn't pull into there. Now, depending on your when, where you're going to render from and how close you're going to get to that. You know, and you could still bump it up to another level. And then you'd have to look and make sure maybe that is a better, a better level. And a better diameter. So make sure it's not cutting anywhere. Okay, well, you know, for the sake of the video, I won't spend forever on it. Uh, but then what we would do is we would uh, go Shift D, find a good position to look at it, and move it down. To about the middle or towards the bottom if you want them to try and rest on the bottom. I can set my origin geometry as well. And then what I'll do is I'm in an orthographic view. I'm going to scale in the X. So I'm going to go SX and hold shift and I'm going to bring it out. All right. I'm going to go to top view. And actually, I don't have to be in top view. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go SY and get it as close as I can to inside the loop. Now, as you can see, this is all wrong, but we're just going to edit that again. So, box select that. And actually, hang on a second. Let me uh, make sure I've got origin to geometry on this one. There we go. And I'm going to bring this stuff in. And if I'm lucky, I might not have to do too much editing. But I think I'm. I think I got to go out here. Okay. And the associated side here. I think what I need to do for these ones is more bringing it down. Let me just have a look at that. So, okay. The other side. Oops. Level of hoops, not bad. Rings, whatever. Okay, mostly the ends, right? Pulling on the X until it looks relatively like a natural bend. As natural as you can make it in the time you've got. Okay, maybe. Last one. Now, touch it up here and there if we want.
again, you know, if you want to do this kind of thing. Not crazy about this. Let's go uh, organ geometry on this guy. There may be nothing I can do about it. You know, I've used I've used a good number of points, so maybe uh, maybe you don't like it like that. But I mean, you know, I guess depending on where you look at it from, it's it may not be that noticeable. I mean, you know, anyone who just looks at it, I, I think, is, isn't going to really see that. But I'm not denying that it's there. All right, so that's the process. So what I'll do is I'll just stop the video and I'll go ahead and I'll do the other two and then we'll come back. All right, I got that part done. And I think it looks all right. It could still use some tweaking, but we're going to go with that. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some kind of uh, metal uh, grates or walkways or something on the inside, cage-like structure. And I think instead of using cylinders, which would really put the poly count just to, <laughs> over the roof, I'm just I'm going to use like uh, uh, cubes, sort of like metal planks. Um, the way I'm going to do this, I think, is I'm going to come to this layer, and let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in a a plane. see where roughly where I want the height I want it to be underneath those okay so I'll start to uh, scale this in the X I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do I'm just going to bring it up just like that. Just want to start having a look at that. Okay, my polys have flipped, so I'm going to select it all and control N. Okay, now I'm going to take this. I'm going to move this actually to, I'm going to bring it back to that first layer. Okay, let's try an array. Coming out this way. All right, I can see we're going to have to deal with the length of this. Take these wires and move them to the second layer. Let's show the second layer. Okay, so far so good. Let's 
take this shifty rotate Z90. Let's take the array off though. Let's scale this in the X. if I want it like that so it seems like it attaches to the wall now if it goes here does that look odd that looks odd let's try an array for that one just a little bit and skip but before I go any further I'll go ahead now and um, bevel this just a little bit You know what? Instead of doing it that way, I would probably be better off doing this. Just like that, doing it by myself. And let's do the same for this one. feel like I need another one. sides doesn't come out very far though does it like if you needed to walk along there without hitting what if I went another one and grab this
Well, I mean, I'll, I'll try that. I'll apply that. Try mirroring it. Shift S cursor to select it on the main thing. Let's take this. Like that. Okay. Add that. And I'll do something here and something there but slightly different. All right, we didn't have a different diameter. Okay, so uh, let's, we got this selected. Let's hide that, let's go with that. Let's bring in a, let's bring in a cube this time. second layer is to see where I'm at. Then I have to go right to the edge. In fact, I may have some issues down here. Um, you know what? To be on the safe side, I might just bring it down to this side because I don't know what's going to happen at the end there yet. I'm fine. flipped so select them all control in take the edges just on the top control B a little bit just roll your mouse up maybe one just give a small small um I don't know what I'm doing with this this let's try just doing something like eye for a second and see this will do anything for us. Okay, I got an idea. So now, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. I don't think I want it right under, or do I want it right under there? Or even down at another layer, level, maybe. That creates some interest as a kind of a walkway almost. I mean, you could do little. Uh, hooks and stuff like that, which would be kind of cool. Maybe I'll try one. I mean, 
or if these were crossed. I mean, I could try that. Let's just let's see what that would look like. Rotate Z90. Even sticking out, but not that many of them. Like, I don't, I'm just interested to see what something like this would look like. Not, not at that level though. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of like it. I don't know what's holding that up. Uh, maybe it's attached here, but uh, let's go ahead and apply that. I was thinking of uh, just I just want to try bringing in a. Um, all right, we'll do it as a cylinder. And uh, let's uh, rotate X90. Scale it way the heck down. Oops. Select it all. Control in. Grab these edges. It's a lot of polys though. For some so small. So small. And that's the deal. Yeah, let's apply smoothing to that. Let's try uh, edge split. Yeah, I don't like it. Let's move that down. I don't know what that is. I don't really like the smoothing very much. I'm gonna try a different angle. And that could be there. something that's kind of cute maybe I'll do another one of those back here we put them around here and there um, but down in this area here 
I'm just not sure yet what to what to do there. So I think maybe we'll uh, we'll leave it at that for the moment. Can I join this? Let's let's join these together. This is all done, right? Let's let's go ahead and apply all that. we got so far so what's left is to uh, build this section here and I may not go too crazy with that um, I might start bringing it to a close and we'll pull this wall down some more if we can to the ground and um, I don't know about about any materials on this this might be just another modeling video series um, a lot of fun though, so we'll see you in the next one.